Senator Shusani who once represented Kaduna Central in the National Assembly has given reasons why Nigeria government should allow citizens to carry guns and other weapons equal to the kind of weapons used by the terrorist group in the country. Senator Shusani who in a number of tweets within 48 hours said, If the government and security agencies can't crush this terrorists and bandits kidnapping and killing our people in northern and southern Kaduna, people should be officially allowed to carry same weapons and let's see who owns the land. Senator Shusani also responded to the presidency's style of reacting to protest and terror attacks in the country. Senator Shusani's response is coming after the media statement credited to the Federal Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amici who said the Monday night Abuja Kaduna bomb train and rail track would have been averted if the 3 billion naira earmarked for the advanced surveillance rail tracking cameras were approved. Each time there is protest or terror attacks, government officials quickly pick up their customized calculators and come out with figures in billions and trillions of naira or dollars, Senator Shusani said. Senator Shusani added that the military barracks in Niger state that ought to provide security along the Kaduna Abuja Road have been attacked by the bandits with numbers of soldiers killed. Zuma military barracks in Sulaja Niger state is supposed to provide security along Kaduna Abuja Road. It was attacked by bandits and six soldiers lost their lives. My condolences to the families of the fallen soldiers. If you are traveling to and from Kaduna by road or rail, until you pass the villages of Rayana or Kateri before you know that you have made your journey, anything short of that your life is on a scale of probability. They criticized and cursed the past administration for failing to tackle insecurity, now they don't want to be criticized and cursed for sane failure, Senator Shusani said.